All right, guys, welcome to Boxy's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, back up here in Clarion County. Uh, it's been two weeks since uh, I mowed the, um, or weed eated, I should say, the uh, food plot with that buddy of mine. And uh, we sprayed for the to extend that food plot. So today I'm going up, as you see, I got a post hole digger. Uh, I have a little oak tree that I was growing at my house. I'm going to bring up here and plant. And I uh, forgot my shovel at home. So, walking up the road. Uh, no means of a four-wheeler today. But uh, we're going to walk up over the hillside, check on everything, plant that tree. And... Um, Whatever I uh, missed spraying, I'm going to start spraying. So uh, stick with me. All right, guys. So got a little bit more work to do on some of this grass. But uh, as you see, we uh, we did get most of the tops. So you can kind of see how I want to get it to tuck down. It's going to come right up along them tree lines. Right up, and then back that way. So, uh, i walk you with me as I go through. I haven't been over the food plot yet. But uh, you can see kind of how I want to bring this down around. But uh, I got to get this here, too. I want to keep it down that way. So... Uh, I definitely can see some uh, deer tracks coming down this four-wheeler path. So. Alright, so I got some daisies popping up. But uh, what I'm looking for is weed competition. So. Yeah. Not bad. A lot of clover. I'm going to look for some alfalfa. I know there's a whole bunch of alfalfa around here as well. But, uh, all right, I'm going to check it out, and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, so I got that oak tree planted. I'll show you where that's at. But uh, for right now, remember, I, I've talked about that spring that comes down, comes right down this trail. So I need some water. So I dug a little hole there. Water's filling up in here, and then I got that right after it goes down over a rock fill my bucket up so uh i have water to uh water that oak tree um i'll probably stop here uh every time i come up so uh, i get some fresh water on that tree until it gets established all right i'll show you the tree in a little bit so uh, right there's the oak tree i just planted i'll give you kind of a reason why so if you look up at that hillside we do got some uh a pine thicket right there as you see, these trees are kind of growing down through here. And if I pan down, I got that right in line with that, which is right in line with the maples that I told you I was gonna use for a licking branch over top of my uh, food plot. And the extended food plot's gonna go down there. And I don't know if you can see kind of that dark hole there. I'll show you here in a minute. The deer already come out through there. So uh, that's why I was extending this food plot and uh i'm gonna put a stand in the pine over here and then there will probably be a stand back in the woods uh waiting for them to come up through there so uh i'll kind of show you try and show you that pine tree from the back side as well looking out into the food plot um i don't have a stand up in there yet but uh i will show you that everything is sprayed camera cards are uh exchanged out oak trees in so uh I'll show you these uh, last two things, and then uh, I will go down to that bottom plot down by the uh, the creek and uh, give you an update on that. So I'm out this little extension. Like a uh, band brother said, I'm trying to get them deer to pinch down between those trees and the side of the thing. Right there is that pine tree. So uh, I know it's hard to see here. But I'm going to go in the woods and I'll show you looking out this way from the uh, ground level. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm down here underneath that pine tree. 
as you can see, right here is the back end of my food plot that I got in currently. And there is a trail that comes right through here. Okay. So I'm going to be up in this pine tree. Not exactly sure how I'm going to get it done, but, uh, we're going to have to cut out a few branches on this back side to get up in there. But, uh, you can see that food plot's right there, that extension. It's coming right across right there. So, uh, I'm hoping I'll be perched in there. That'll be a good spot. I'm going to pan over here to my left. So, <clears throat> right down there is that corner where, uh, I showed you guys that dark hole. That's going to be where that wraps around and comes down there. I'm going to get over there and I'll show you, uh, I forgot my thermos, so I'm getting eaten alive in these woods. But uh, I'll show you the trails that's already coming through there. All right, guys, so here's that opening. So I'll uh, get myself spun back around here, and I'll kind of show you what's going on. But you can already see right through there. They're already coming up through here, and that's what I was seeing last year. So if you look down through here, they did timber this out. And uh, as you can see, there's a log and red going that way. There's one going that way. Of course, that goes back up over to my plot. But then there's one that comes down through here, one that goes down through there. So uh, the road is just down over that hill right there. It's not far. Um, on the back side of that uh, road, it goes down into that creek side, that creek. And uh, it's thick as can be. Them deer, what they're doing in the evening time. You'll be able to hear the carts coming down the road now. But they come in the evening time, they come up in this food plot. So what I'm gonna what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to where I establish them coming into certain points. And then we're gonna we're gonna hunt in maybe trees like that one right there. You know, that that there's got good coverage around it, got a back good backstop. I don't know, maybe here. That that even looks like a good one. I can put a ladder stand up for iron, but uh, you can see there's a couple over here as well. And then uh, that pine tree, it's up over that way. So, all right, I'll get back to you and I'll show you the uh, what's going on down on the bottom. Okay, so hopefully all this hard work and this hot weather and the sweat, it'll pay off. All right, guys, come down to the bottom down here. And uh, I don't know, as you see, uh, we got a pretty good job there. So we'll come down in here and we'll get that all that raked off. And uh, get a food plot in there. Like I said, we will have to uh, try to open this canopy a little bit to get some sun in. Uh, there's a couple little trees right there we can cut down that's on here, our property. But, uh, yeah, so uh, right there's the camera over there. Put a little bit of salt and stuff down here. So we'll see. Uh, I see some deer on that. So, yeah, this would be real nice. As you know, right up there is my tree stand. There it is. So, right over this plot.